Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be unboxing the Witch's Roots for October 2020. So stay tuned. So we, like I said, we got our Witch's Roots in for the month. So I am so excited to open it up with you guys. So, and this is what the box looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's one of my favorite boxes for like box design. So when you get it and you open it up, it looks like that. So the first thing you always get is a pamphlet and it lets you know everything that is inside the box. And this month is the guided seer right there. So. The first thing I'm pulling up is this. This is the Hamsa. It looks like Hamsa. Very beautiful print. This is a Hamsa handbook of shadow reference page. Okay. Um, this is this beautiful Hamsa reference page holds with wonderful information regarding the sacred and meaningful amulet place within your book of shadows for reference while crafting and creating rituals. I love these. I always put these in my book as shadows because, or my grimoire is what I call it. So I can always go back to these as references. Next thing I see is mother wart. And this is just about the herb right there. And it gives you all the information you could possibly need. And I also love to stick these in my grimoire as well. So when you open the box, Oh, it looks like that so let's see the first thing I'm gonna pull out looks like the oil so every month we get an oil and this month is solid right there they have some of the best smelling oils ever oh it smells so good just in case I can tell you this box is $30.54 that includes shipping and taxes and everything else so I just wanted to let you know so, but about this um, yummy smelling um, Samhain oil, we have carried this magical anointing oil with the intention of enhancing the energy that surrounds you so that you may receive relevant messages and signs during the season. Because this is the season where the veil is thinning, so you're able to be able to more speak to your ancestors. And a lot about Samhain is remembering our ancestors and letting them in. And so they feel like they have a home again and we get to be with them, so. So anything we have to lower the veil or make the veil even more thin helps a lot. So, um, so you can receive messages and signs during the season. This is a wonderful oil to anoint magical tools as well as statues, coins, and talismans that may be used to, to may be used on these nights. We have enchanted this magical oil with anisa clove, yingling, and sandalwood oils. So it smells so good though. I love it. So the next thing I see is some mother root and that's what was that card was about. Root is an appropriate herb to work with shaman. Mother root is an ancestry plant it's known and recognized for its wonderful magic properties by many cultures and religions from around the world. From Celtic traditions to interior practice throughout Central and South Africa. As we work to connect with ancestors and guides during these nights, mother root is a stable companion providing relief for those that suffer from a sense of loneliness or disconnection. So that's awesome. This is something I should look into because this might actually help me a lot. As some of you guys don't know, I lost my son. Um, it will be two years on November 11th and I miss him so much. So I'm going to give this a try and see if it helps. So the next thing I see is our candle and we always get like a uh, beeswax candle handmade every month and it looks like it is going to be purple yep it's purple isn't it pretty i love that so let's see what this says for the candle this is the of meaning and magic mini spell candle we have hand rolled this of meaning and magic mini spell candle with the intention of enhancing the magic that flows through your space as you allow the flame to dance before you take time to resonate with the power that is held with the season and what it means to you so oh they always smell so good i love them so much See, and the next thing we have here is, oh, it looks like a pendulum. It looks like a rose quartz pendulum. Oh, that's so pretty. And yeah, it is. Isn't that pretty? Oh, that is gorgeous. And like I said, I absolutely love rose quartz. It is my favorite 
favorite stone. So this pendulum to assist you during this time, we have included a wonderful and finely crafted rose quartz and moonstone pendulum. So these are moonstones right there. There are many ways to use this sacred tool. We have placed this pendulum with the collection to help you receive yes or no answers, as well as assisting you in establishing a connection with the spirit realm. As you grasp the foe between your thumb and forefinger, program your pendulum by establishing what each movement may mean. For example, front to back means yes, and side to side means no. Once these have been verified, you may begin to ask questions. Be cautious of what kind of questions you're asking during any divinatory rituals. Divinitary ritual, as you may receive answers you are not equipped to receive. So you just gotta be careful. But this is something they also have boards for this too. See, mine's not exactly centered, but but you never know. You just gotta get it still, and it will eventually start moving. But it's absolutely beautiful, and I'm very excited to have another one. So the next thing I see is this beautiful stone. I say this is a rose quartz, but it doesn't look like a normal rose quartz that I've seen because this to me looks more like rose quartz but it's very it looks definitely tumbled uh, you may only think that Samhain may provide a night of connection with ancestors and guides we commonly find that we find deep healing within each practice and ritual we have included a tumbled aurora oh it's aurora see that's the difference rose quartz to keep with you or place among your altar during this time to enhance healing and gentle energies take the time to feel the energy within the stone and its outer coating and it's elemental its connection is absolute it's water and i think that's why i'm so drawn to it so it is so pretty i'm so glad to have it and the next thing i see oh this is adorable it's like a little coin isn't that cute look at that and on the back it says dream on it that is adorable. We have included a small, powerful goddess coin for you to carry with you during the season, reminding you of the great power held within the feminine aspects of the divine goddess. So that is pretty. I do absolutely love this. And the last thing is our incense sticks. And they are right here. And these are sanctuary ritual incense sticks. These wonderful aromic ritual incense sticks were placed within the collection to bring a sense of calm and tranquility into your space. As you allow the smoke from the incense to waft throughout your area, take a deep and initial breath, allowing yourself to focus on the sacred task ahead of you. Oh, I think these are one of my favorite ones so far. It kind of smells like laundry stuff. <laughs> this smells so good. Oh, I love it. So, but that is everything this month in the Witch's Roots. I, like I said, I absolutely love this description so much. It is one of my favorites. So let's go through everything again. So we got the incense sticks and we got the mother wart. We got the beautiful purple candle. We got the rose quartz. We got the goddess coin. We got the essential oil. And we got the beautiful pendulum. And we ended up getting two cards for our grimoire. Well, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys will subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you will be notified every single time that I upload a new video. I hope you guys have a wonderful and a magical day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.